hello youtube and welcome to another linux tutorial so today i'm going to show you how to customize the output of your sqlite database and make it permanent so are you ready let's get started so here as you can see on my desktop i have a database called airport so let's connect to this database using SQLite so it contains actually the airport okay so let's see the tables so here I have only one table so let's for example display some records from this table so I'll make a simple query select the name of the airport and city and also the country so from this table which is airports and let's limit that to just 20 okay so as you can see here the input of this query is not really good so we can make it a little bit uh, beautiful so I will add option here mod column and I can add also the headers in order to know which field actually is the name or that so I will just make headers on so let's uh, execute once again this query here so now as you can see it's more beautiful and the more readable so you can see here the column for name city and country but if i quit from this database so i will exit i will connect again and, and uh, let's execute the same query you will see that i don't have any more the beautiful output that i had so how to make this actually output permanent so in order to do that it's really simple all you have to do is to go your home directory okay so here i am in my home directory so i will just execute a list with option all in order to see also the hidden files so what I'm going to do actually I'm going to create a configuration file for the SQLite so here I have a hidden file called SQLite history which contains actually the comment that I executed in SQLite but in addition to this hidden file I will make another file called SQLite RC okay so let's create it uh, using for example uh, vi editor or you can use whatever editor you want so i will call it sqlite rc here we go now we have to add actually our options that we have created previously so mod column also headers on so make sure not to forget the point or the dot before the comments on i can even add another option timer on which actually displays the time for the execution of the query okay so now i will exit here my editor okay so now let's try to uh, connect to this database and see if i really had all options executed okay so let's go to once again to my desktop and let's connect to the airports database so as you can see here another uh, line has appeared loading resources from home actually from this configuration file so let's execute our query 
and here we go now we have made the configuration or the options permanent so every time we run a query we have our headers on our mode which is column and here the third option that we have added to our resource file which is timer on so here it gives us actually the execution time for the query so as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye